On the last episode of Cruising Off Duty, we showed you the Annapolis Sailboat Show, and we showed you all the catamarans built by Nautitech and Fontaine Pajot. We brought you on board with us, and we told you what we did like and what we didn't like about each model. In this episode, we go over the catamarans built by Leopard, Bally, and Lagoon. That will pretty much complete all the production catamaran companies. After that, we'll cover the more custom-built companies, such as St. Francis, Majestic, and Exquisite. So keep watching. So this is the Navy Memorial Stadium where we came yesterday to park and we're told that they had a football game so we couldn't park here but today we are parking here. Today is windy. Windy, not rainy but windy. Windy and cool. I'm wearing a sweatshirt today. Yesterday I was in a t-shirt. Well at least we're not getting rained on. And they pack us on school buses and take us to downtown Annapolis. It's actually quite pretty. Like excited school children at an amusement park, we pile off the bus and see all the things we didn't get to see yesterday in the rain. The Annapolis Boat Show on a non-rainy day. Windy, look at the flags, they're flapping, but it's gonna be much more enjoyable today. We're gonna go look at the leopard catamarans. So, this is the Leopard 48. Deposit my backpack. So it's a plastic table or fiber. Oil. It's a big table though, eh? Big, but it's not, um, there's no cushions and it's not a wood table. Uh, this is integrated solar panels, integrated large area flush. So there's nothing up here. There's solar panels, come on up. Solar panels, but there's nowhere to sit. And this is a 48 foot cat. This is a big cat. There's nowhere to sit. Like the uh, Fontaine Peugeot has lots of seating area up here, and I can't see the I can't see the uh, shit. Yeah, you can't see the bow of the boat from here. Not it's a bad all. layout. Bad. Okay, and the seats are just plastic. Okay, let's look at the inside. Yeah, they have that front seating area, which some people don't like because they say, yeah. And it's all you have to put these chairs here because it's just plastic everywhere. Janice is sitting on the chair. It's a nice little area if it's calm, but if you're in big seas and the water's coming over the bow, it only has one trampoline too. Okay. Want well, to see the, the rooms? It's narrower here too. Not as high ceilings as it seems on the other boat. And this is the head. No, you're right. And the heads are the heads are okay. It's, they're very, it's very, everything's very plastic. Yeah, this bed just doesn't have as much space on either side. And this is a 48. This is a big should be a big boat. So that one we were just on was a Mortings 4800, which is 48 feet long. And we did not like it. All right, we're going on a Leopard 40. Same thing, no cushions back here. Plastic table. This one has a walkthrough, but not a seating area. Yeah. Yeah, so you get a walkthrough door, but no, no. Nowhere to sit in here. And no nav station. I'll go down this way. So, the hallways are very narrow. Like, I'm barely, I'm, my elbows are rubbing. This bed is extremely narrow. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Look, see how it's narrow that hallway is? Can barely fit through. I mean, this is the bigger of the two cabins, and it's still very tight. So, no. Definitely not. We like the Fontaine Peugeot 40, but... Okay, this is a Leopard 45. At least there's cushions, although I'm not sure if it comes standard. Yeah, nowhere to sit up here. But there is solar. So this is the salon. 
So this would be a owner's version. You got the furnace on, it's heating in here. This is a nice. Owner's version's got a nice gal or, uh, head. An okay size berth. Oh, we have the outdoor seating area again. And this is the non owner side. And this is the head, which doesn't really have a separate shower. It's sort of like just in the middle of the opening here. This is the aft cabin. Oh no, sorry. This is a forward cabin. Narrower bed. Narrower bed, no real space for anything on either side. For a 45, no. And again, this shower isn't really separate. You're standing kind of in, inside the doorway to have your shower. So. Okay, we just finished going on the leopards, all of them. And we didn't like a single one of them. I've never liked leopards. She's never liked leopards. They're very plasticky inside. They're very narrow. I didn't realize yeah. this before. The, uh, even the, the passageways don't have full size beds. Like yeah. Beds. Even the 48 didn't have a full size, didn't feel like a full size cabin. And uh, the passageways to the cabins are very narrow. Like my elbows were rubbing the walls going through. And that just feels way too tight for a 45 and a 48 foot catamaran. Shouldn't feel claustrophobic. Leopards are no. ruled out. Not an option for us. We've never loved the lagoons because they're very plasticky, but they're beamy. Lots of space. Leopards are plasticky and they don't have a lot of space inside for the size of the for the length of the boat. So this is the Bali 45. Thingy Davits. And galley up here. I like that. Yeah. And nav station here. And yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, and a separate shower this time. And narrow passageway, so I'm kind of banging my way through here. Narrow, eh? Very narrow? Yeah, very narrow. Extremely narrow. And low. And low, like I, again, this bulkhead here. You know, bang my head if I didn't think about it. Katana is what you said? Yeah, the cruising branch of Katana. Okay. But it's still, uh, it's still up, and you still don't have a trampoline. You've got padding, whether that's even included. That could be extra. But you've got a big, huge sitting area, which I don't like, because if the water comes over, it's gonna have to drain out that, and then you could get slapping in big waves, where the waves come up. Instead of hitting a trampoline, they're hitting the bottom of the boat. So, not our favorite. Always to each cabin were very, very narrow, extremely narrow, and the bulkheads were low enough that I kept banging my head, and I'm only six feet tall, so I'm not like super tall. So, Bali ruled out. Okay, now we're probably on the biggest boat builder, the Lagoons. That's the 38, which is just too small. We've been on it before. It's just too small to live on for us. This is a 42, that's an option. It's a 45, that's an option. 52 is definitely too big. That's huge. So we're on the Lagoon 45. It's got a nice uh, rounded, it seems very rounded too. Yeah. And then it's got a nice seating area here. Oh, it's got a nice hard bimini on top of your captain's area. Look at that screen, woo, sweet. Yeah, oh, it's got yeah, one spot to lie down. The bimini has plexiglass windows so you can see your sails, that's pretty good. Not so far. Nice, and the friggin' winches are huge. So far I like it. And a seating area, but you also have a net, which is a trampoline, which is nice. You got little wooden seats in the corners. So far I'm liking it, actually. We'll see what we think when we go inside. More, like an ice box? Yeah. Yeah, it's an ice box, okay. And then this is a, oh, thing to drop. I guess that could be your garbage. This is the galley. What do you think of this one? Yeah. And rounded table. Oh, this is the owner's version. Yeah, it's much bigger. Much bigger. This yeah. walkthrough is huge compared to what we've been on recently. The leopards are so narrow. And then this is a good size head, like a really good size head. Yeah, super good. You got a lot of space in here and a lot of storage. Looks like behind this mirror too. 
and then a really big shower like bigger than we have at home <laughs> and this is a good like relatively deep nice. sink because okay. a lot of the sinks are very narrow right yeah. it's a good counter okay so this is the non owner side Let's see there i am hello so it's a decent size for a not owner's version and this is the head oh it's a good size head separate shower good size sink Okay, here's the stern cabin on the non-owner side. This is a, like, I always find the stern cabins are just a little bit beamier, like wider, yeah. because they're not pointy. So you get a little bit, tiny bit more space on the sides. And the heads are big. Both big. They're both big on both. They're like matching. They're like almost owner's version heads. Also, the bulkhead is nice and high. I don't bang my head. I'm, yeah. I hated that on the Leopard. Yeah. Was it, or no, the Bally. Yeah. That is not on our short list. No, Bally doesn't. Yeah. Leopard nor Bally, no. No. And this has got a nice size galley. And this is nice. I like how this is raised. So you can, uh, the cabinetry is raised on the edge so you can't really have stuff spill off the side. So you're steering from here. Now you can barely see your port bow. Barely. I do love this hard bimini. Love this hard bimini. This is, this is the best part of this boat and it looks like this side over here can even open oh yeah it can because you can walk up here so oh, you can slide this open neat so this slides open that's neat that's a nice feature all the seating out here although i'm surprised they don't have the table out so you can see the table look at the size of these winches too huh? Those ones are big though. No, this one here is big. And then winch. And three winches up there. I wonder if one of them is a power winch. Oh, they're all. They're all power winches. All three of these are power winches. Holy crap. That is unbelievable. Okay, so there's the nav station and the galley, galley. which is a nice like enough galley. Yeah. I like the other galley better, but it's probably a bigger boat. So. No. <laughs> oh, look at the size of this. This is the owner's version again. So for a 42, oh, I like this. for a 42, this is pretty beamy. Yeah. I like having a, a couchy couch. And a little couch and a little vanity yeah, seat thing. Oh yeah, this is set up. And then this is the head. Not quite as big as the 45, but no. I like the 45 better. The 45 had no uh, problems at all. This one I just feel like it's a wee, the head's a wee bit smaller. Galley's smaller, of course. Okay, down on the port side, these are the non-owner's versions. Still really beamy, like really good size for non-owners. And then the head here, do you want to come in? Good windows, like a lot of windows back here. And the head is, oh yeah, good size head. So, head with a separate shower. Yeah, I like Jenna said, good size windows, lots of them. There's two hatches that open on the walls and a hatch at the top with its own solar fan or whatever. Yeah, and now let's go to the, so the forward room still, you know, very not quite bright. as big, very, very bright. bright though. Look I at like the size windows. Of it. Yeah, lots of big windows. And there's probably storage behind that hatch there. Yeah. Oh, bang. So, so this one doesn't have its separate shower. Oh, no? No. Oh, so this So the 45 does. Okay, so this is a salon. Lots of windows. Like, look at the windows Lots in here. Lots of seating. Lots of seating. Yeah, this table. Sorry, it's hard to even get it all in. Like, really, this table. one of my main priorities is windows and brightness. Like, if you scan over to that cat over there, you can see there's a lot of white like, it's a lot of um, breakage between the windows a yeah. lot of gap it's nice it's yeah this lagoon has a lot of windows and a lot of space for a this is a 42 i mean this yeah. is pretty big for a 42. Yeah. yeah so we like yeah and it's got a nav station like some boats make some sacrifices you know to get a smaller boat you usually lose something but this one feels very big it didn't used to be on our short list because Fontaine Bajo used to have more woody, but now, now it's starting to be like Fontaine Bajo is starting to build 
kind of cheaper material inside. And at least everything here is rounded. Like all the tables are rounded. The galley things are rounded. We heard the Fontaine Bajot now is all square, completely square, correct? Yeah. Okay, just as a comparison, because we're starting to like these lagoons. We didn't used to, but they seem to be improving or Fontaine Bajot is getting worse. We thought we'd go on this Lagoon 38, just for the viewers. I think we think it's probably too small to live on full time, but you never know. So it still has the seats in the front, but they're not wood like the other ones. They're Lexan or plastic or something. They only have one hatch with a solar. Lot less hatches. With, a, with less wind, hatches. with air, the solar air thing. Not only that, there's way fewer hatches. Yeah. So it still has a uh, hard bimini. Although, it's a, uh, you're steering from a lot lower. So your head is. It's not really a dining you're table. You're sticking here. your head through and then you need to close it when you're not using it. There's no dining table back here, it's just a little cone. Oh, yes. Little. Oh, okay, so you can swap that table for this table. Okay, that makes sense because you probably want to eat outside. Anyway. Absolutely, if you're somewhere gorgeous, yeah, you're you know, <laughs> outside, then you'll have this as a coffee table. So, cool. So, this is the galley. I like the, sh the shape of the dinette. See, everything's rounded. Yeah, everything's round, and the table's round. We're commenting on the Fontaine Bajos have gone to a completely they square used to be round by everything. table. Yeah. Everything's got a square edge on it. And we're like, mm. which you know, the only bad thing about that. Well, it's not the only thing bad about that, in my opinion. But um, if you slip into something that has a really square edge, yeah. it bruises. Like, yeah, yeah. It's gonna bruise pretty. No, I know, and it just feels like this takes a little bit more workmanship as opposed to just throwing a square mm -hmm. table in. It doesn't like feels like they didn't put a lot of effort into it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I also like the, the rounded space. Yeah. They made really good use of. Yeah. All the, space where if it's squared off more, yeah you lose some of the, the space yeah, that yeah even good. the roof is everything in here is very round yeah yeah, yeah. no it feels good it feels good lots i like of bright it windows lots of windows mm -hmm. yeah and i think they opened up the the area between the cockpit and the salon very well yeah so this yeah. is just uh Okay, so additional, additional, like a little bar, or, yeah. Or if you need it, or a bar serving area. Yeah. But I think it creates a nice flow. Yeah. yeah, it does. And it doesn't feel small for 38. No, yeah. yeah. It's well, it's beamy for 38, right? So it's got more space. Okay, so this is the port forward berth. Compared to the other lagoons, it's definitely tight. Or, right? That's narrow, yeah. That is narrow, but it's a, this is a 38, so we got to give a little credit. It's still got a lot of window. Right? Yeah. And let's look at the head on the side. Oh, there's only one head on this whole side of the boat? Nope. Okay, so no separate shower. You're sharing the head on this side. This is a decent sized bed. Yeah. But definitely the 42 is the way to go yeah. with this. Big difference. Yeah. 38 is, it'd be a great boat, but not to live on full time. Is this the owner's side? This is the owner side. Yeah, so this is an owner's version, 38. So you got a decent size, not as much window, eh? No, there's definitely, definitely more fewer less windows. less windows. And then this is the head. At least it's got its own separate shower that's a decent size. How do I open this thing? Oh, there we go. It's a decent size head. Yeah, this is an owner's. We went and looked at these valleys. And what did you think of that? I did not like them at all. No, neither Nothing did I. About them. Uh, we mentioned it probably in an earlier they video. They don't even make any sense at all to me. They're they very, have no trampoline. And yeah. No trampoline on the front. Very narrow hallways. Yeah. Just very not, low bulkheads. Yeah. Like he was on his head. He's not super tall. I'm six feet tall. But I mean, anybody who's even 5'11 would hit their head because I hit my head like halfway up my forehead. So hmm. that was really extremely low. But then we went over to Lagoons and we weren't usually a big fan of lagoons but lagoons seems to be much more rounded than they used to be we used to found them very boxy yeah but now the lagoon 42 is probably nice. our favorite we well, used to prefer salinas because they were very pretty inside but they've gone downhill yeah. and now they're yeah it's fun tempo shows so now they're very ikea like inside with very square corners and very cheap looking finishes and at least the lagoons still have rounded corners, so we yeah. used to prefer Fontaine Peugeot, but now they have bumped down the list. The lagoon has bumped up the list yeah. a little bit. So, there's the 45, which is definitely like the cream cream of the crop. 
in Lagoon that we like that one the most, but it's probably more money than the 42. We could live with the 42. It's I'd very be happy nice. With the 42, yeah. yeah, but 45 is an option as well. We might come back and revisit it tonight. We'll go look at some other boats and come back. Well, I hope you've enjoyed us taking you along with us on our tour of the various catamarans at the Annapolis Boat Show. Keep in mind, when we are looking at these boats, we're looking at more for comfort inside. We're not worried about how fast the boat sails. We figure when we're exploring the world, we're gonna spend a lot more time at anchor than we are actually sailing. So considering this is gonna be our home, interior comfort trumps speed. Stay tuned to the next episode where we cover the more custom catamaran builders such as St. Francis, Majestic, Exquisite, and Outremer. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Thanks a lot.